They say unrequited love is like a one-man war. Can you picture it? Waiting for the day when the girl you've been in love with for so long finally falls for you. If you have to wait, then wait. Wait till the end. If you don't want the girl you like to end up in someone else's arms, then you must watch today's video. It's recommended to memorize the whole script. Once you understand it, you'll realize that you don't have to confess your love to a girl. She can fall in love with you and even chase after you. I have a buddy who came to me and said, Hey, I've had a crush on this girl for a year. We've been on dates, but I never dared to confess my feelings. Last week, while I was working overtime, she wished me a happy birthday and gave me a gift. I didn't even realize it was my birthday. I was so happy. I wanted to confess right then and there. The next day, I went down to her office and asked her out for dinner. She said she had plans with a colleague and turned me down. Then I saw her get into a guy's car. I confronted her right away. Now she doesn't want to talk to me. What should I do? I don't want to lose her. Please help me. Let's take a look at the chat between my buddy and the girl. He asked, the colleague you're talking about, is he a guy? The girl replied with three question marks. Colleagues having dinner together. Guys having dinner together. Not necessarily the same thing. I saw you chatting happily with that male colleague. Even got in his car. The girl replied with three dots. My buddy said, that's great. Get to know your male colleagues better. The girl replied again, you don't care who I eat with. The guy was like, I don't care about you anymore. He started playing hard to get. I've seen this happen quite a few times. It's not really his fault. It's hard not to misunderstand when a female colleague is giving him rides. The girl remembered his birthday and even bought him gifts. That's enough to prove that she has a good impression of him. Luckily, he woke up in time and found me. To understand the details of their relationship, I learned a lot about the situation. After that, I helped him chat with the girl for a while. Her mood improved, but her responses were still a bit cold. But that's not a problem. I told him to send a message to the girl, then withdraw it immediately. After a while, the girl replied with a question mark. We said nothing. I just suddenly saw that you didn't reply to the last message, so I didn't want to disturb you. The girl replied that she was a little busy. She's going to take a professional title test in two days. At this time, a lot of guys will start to ask, how's your studying? Is it difficult? Keep it up? And other non-nutritious topics like that. Or maybe a girl will answer you, but it has no effect at all on promoting the relationship. And girls are in the sprint stage. You ask too many questions. On the contrary, girls will think you're annoying. So not only can't you get extra points by asking this question, it will even reduce points. So what should be done? We can say, there's no use studying hard. I have a way to improve learning efficiency. Do you want to try it? Throw a hook. Arouse girls' curiosity. Girls take exams for professional titles. They put a lot of time and effort into it. Then at this time, girls will definitely be curious. What is the method mentioned by the guy? Guys, please remember, curiosity is always the driving force behind chatting. You see, the girls are really curious. What way? We say that you need to be motivated to learn in order to learn. If you pass the exam as a bonus, I'll treat you to hot pot. The girl asked, what if I didn't do well in the exam? We failed in the exam, you have to treat me to a movie. Guys, if you encourage girls like this, don't tell me it doesn't help. I regard inviting girls to hot pot as a reward. Girls most likely won't refuse, and girls will look forward to it. At the same time, we need to set up penalties. Girls also have to pay something. Otherwise, it's easy to be regarded as a pushover. The girl was like, if I couldn't pass the exam, shouldn't you be the one inviting me to watch a movie to comfort me? A lot of guys saw this and thought, does what the girl said make sense? They directly send the girl a message saying, I invite you. Dude, what's the difference between you and a pushover? When we get back, I want to watch a movie with you again. I still want to hear your complaints. I also want to comfort you. I want to play the role of a psychiatrist. Hey, a movie ticket is cheaper for you. Guys, do you think we said this? Will it make girls angry? A lot of guys lose at this point. Not brave enough. We're chatting. 
Girls must be allowed to have emotional ups and downs. A girl's emotions towards you are just a straight line. How could she be tempted by you? I've been emphasizing this point over and over again. The girl replied, The process is so familiar. You must have a lot of experience in coaxing people. I can literally smell it through the screen. This girl talks both inside and outside the words. A big smell of vinegar. This is a good signal. But there's no use denying it at this point. Admit it and you'll be labeled as a flirt. It seems like no matter what answer you give, it's all a trap. Then we can only find another way. Yes, you are the hardest to coax. Girls reply instantly. You fished for me. Can be seen. The girl is very excited. But don't panic, guys. I can guarantee as soon as the words I said next came out, girls must be speechless. My sister fights and gets awkward with my mother all day long. I have gained experience in coaxing people over and over again. Why are you so excited? Doesn't this make things come full circle? Guys, remember a word. Girls are emotional. When a girl's emotions can be captured by our chat, control time, it's not far away from catching up with a girl. This is emotional pull. The girl said sorry, misunderstood you. But what you just said is indeed too easy for people to misunderstand. How come? They say a girl only likes someone when she likes them. Only then will you worry about the other person except myself. He also coaxes other girls. Where are we? Misinterpret what girls mean. Flirt with girls. Test her attitude. It's not like girls reply to me. Why didn't I realize you were so glib before? Girls say we are glib. This is a joke. And she doesn't resent us teasing her. It shows that girls are in a good mood now. But if guys at this time admit that they are glib, then girls will think you're talking too much. Not a word in his mouth is true. A girl's favorability towards you will decrease. So we should treat it carefully. I want my brother to respond like this. Straightforward and said that I have low emotional intelligence. Be funny and call me glib. Then I can only say that you don't understand the style. Neither this nor that. You make it difficult for me too. Say it like this. Just tell the girls. We just have a little more humor. Not glib. Take advantage of the situation and extend our topic in the direction of emotion. Ah, uh, it's been five minutes. The girl's reply wasn't as exaggerated as you said. She just thinks feelings should develop slowly, not be manufactured by some routine. Guys, how would you respond to these words? I believe many of you would agree with the girl's point of view. You'd say, just take your time. But if you want to take your time, just wait until someone else gets there first. We can say, slowly is indeed a beautiful word. Grow up slowly, meet slowly, grow old slowly. It does sound romantic. You first agree with the girl's point of view, then continue to express our views. Some guys chase girls for several years and still end up in the friend zone. And Jack and Rose only met for a day and created a timeless love story. So time can be used to test feelings, but feelings cannot be measured. The girl said yes, but what you said makes sense. When will I find my Jack? My buddy got anxious when he saw this sentence. He asked me, she knows I like her. Is she still saying that? Does she dislike me? I told my buddy, just the opposite. Girls like you. What she said is hinting that you should pursue her. My buddy was very puzzled. Sober bro, don't worry. Follow my way of thinking. Just wait and see the girl's reaction. We said you can touch my clothes. Girls say yes. Why are you touching your clothes? Let's see if I'm Jack's material. When the girl replied, Jack was handsome and could draw. Where do you stand? You see the girl's emotional reactions are very good. I also asked my buddy where to stand. It means that he has already treated that buddy as Jack. What about this time? What will you do? I won't stupidly say that I can't compare with you. Or should I say that I am better than Jack? You need to know the reason for girls is not really to compare you with him. It's a girl's final reserve towards her buddy. So here we go. It doesn't matter where I stand. What's important is that I'm still alive. And Jack is no longer here. That's it. He will never be as good as me. The girl replied, haha. Then don't take it seriously. I hope you live longer. What's behind? My buddy learned how to chat with me again. 
I continued chatting with the girl for a while. Finally, the girl passed the professional title exam. My buddy also fulfilled their promise. Treat the girl to a hot pot meal. What about after going home? The girl sent a long message to her buddy. The audio content is probably, girls actually had a crush on buddies before, but my buddy was chatting with a girl before. Made girls feel like this buddy. She just considers him a friend. So girls don't dare to have any ideas. Emotions are what make you brave. Starve to death the coward. If you like a girl, you must go there. Girls are reserved. If you don't pursue her, how do you know if she likes you? If you really don't know what to do, then you can come to me. If you're looking to master the art of attracting girls, want them to pursue you, or need advice on love and dating recovery, then stay tuned to my videos. Don't forget to like, share with your loved ones, and subscribe to the Dark Psychology World channel for more insightful content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.